hello you guys so um after that last video not the last video but the one where i had my panic attack um the panic attack went away within about five minutes after that video and i'm gonna go ahead and share with you how i made it go away um within five minutes um again i haven't had i hadn't had a panic attack like that in a long time like a really long time so I had to like remember the things I had learned that remember the things I had taught myself you know and all these things but I basically um, I ended up going ahead and remembering I have to be logical with myself so I told myself okay you know this is anxiety you know this is a panic attack <clears throat> you have felt this before even though it's scary even though it feels like you're like dying you know I knew what it was so I told myself that I did my breathing exercises, my box breathing, which I, that's my favorite. I mean, everybody has their own breathing techniques they like to do. But, um, so I did the box breathing and I just kind of, you know, ignored it. Um, well, I, I went with it. You can't really, okay. When you try to ignore it completely, it kind of come bombards you even worse. So <clears throat> don't completely ignore it. What I mean by ignore is distract yourself. Don't focus on it. Just the panic attack um you distract yourself with other things like the like what I was doing with the positive thoughts or I went outside I was like okay well I'm gonna go and watch my show now you know because I was trying to watch a show and you know all of that so that's what I did in order to get past that now I know it's been a, a minute since I've done a video and I'm trying to share this with you guys but <sighs> so um something that I remembered and um that i remembered recently just because i started watching like videos and i started doing all this stuff was that um i remembered that i have been diagnosed more than once i've been diagnosed a lot of times for with um by various doctors and all that like mm, for adhd and I was remembering and I was thinking, well, I have ADHD. And um, I've been diagnosed with it multiple times. Um, and I always used to be like, well, I don't have ADHD because I'm not super hyper and crazy all over the place, you know. And but the truth is, I do have ADHD. It's been <laughs> clinically diagnosed within me um, uh, like three or four times by three or four different doctors. And it doesn't matter that I ignore it, um, ignore that diagnosis. That doesn't mean it's going to go away. You know, it is what I am. I have that. And I was thinking about it. I was watching a video um, recently. Um, and by, I don't know if y'all know who Mel Robbins is, but um, she's awesome. Uh, the, five, the five second rule woman. Um, but um, so I was watching... Um, one of her videos where she when she first got diagnosed with ADHD and it was me in a nutshell like everything she was describing and everything and I started looking up ADHD in women it's different in women than it is in men and um, they always have those side you know things that happen with them as well so alongside with ADHD which would be like with me it's anxiety it's um, the panic disorder, you know, is what I had. I have anxiety, you know, <laughs> and um, but like, um, so I'm doing this and you know about my iron thing, like the iron um, causes anxiety as well. So there's like all this complication, like there's all this stuff. And I wish I was a doctor, like a legit doctor. I'm actually thinking of going, I'm about to go back to college because I'm, I'm really wanting to be a doctor. Um, not like a medical doctor, but like a, a, to be honest, I want to be a neuropsychiatrist and, um, for multiple reasons. That's like my dream. And I know I'm older and I know it's going to take me about 10 years to finish everything, but I feel like it's worth it. And it's something I really want to do. Um, I really want to do this <laughs> and that's what I'm about to start uh, embark on I'm already talking to colleges all of that stuff so um, I already have my associate's degree but I don't know if that's gonna I'm gonna really be able to take that associate's degree with me into 
this field because it's a different kind of thing so I might have to do it all over again but we'll see what happens but um yeah I'm just I don't know I there's just so many things so now I'm looking more into and researching ADHD and I was looking up like brain scans and all of this stuff and like I want to get a brain scan done to my brain um but um that's part of a neuropsychiatrist can give you a brain scan by the way so uh <laughs> if they they'll just I'll be like hey give me a brain scan of this person I want to know exactly what's going on with them you know so um I want to be able to do that <laughs> but uh but yeah like I but the ADHD has kept me from doing so many things like that's why I don't finish things that's why I'll say hey I'm gonna post a video about such and such and then it doesn't happen right and um and then I go back and I'm like wait a minute or I get like super focused on something like the hyper focus I have had that for a long time and that's something I've noticed about myself but like I'll do the hyper focus thing and like it's not it I get really hyper focused on things and even on people and on situations and on whatever like that's how I get and I just noticed so many things about me and um and now like it, it it's just one of those things I don't know I just wanted to talk about this I wanted to bring it out there I wanted to bring it to light um also about my iron um I went and got my blood work done y'all know that so when I went and got my blood work done my doctor called me and said that my hemoglobin was at an eight four weeks after taking that medicine taking those vitamins that I showed you four weeks my hemoglobin already went up to an 11. I was like, what? You know what I mean? I was like so excited. I was like, wow. Um, see the hype, see the ADHD in my brain where I'm going from topic to topic. That's what I mean. But I am sharing relevant information with you. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to put it all into one video. Um, but yeah, so yeah. And I realize all the connections between everything that I've been dealing with with the ADHD with anxiety with panic disorder with hyperventilation syndrome um, hyperventilation syndrome can cause so many things it can cause the dizziness it can cause the well the breathing issues of course that's what hyperventilation syndrome does um, it's the breathing issues it's the dizziness it's the headache it can be um, so many things the the tingling of the fingers and the toes and the feet um, uh, that's just with the breathing part, you know, and you can even cause with the hyperventilation syndrome if you do it all the time and too deeply too much, it can actually make you um, have heart palpitations too. So like there's so much and then you think about it, okay, well, also, the low iron can make you have all this too. There's like so many things. That's why I'm like, maybe that's why we overthink <laughs> because of all these truths that are out there you know we need to find our own truth because everybody's different every body is different me I had the low iron but some of you don't have that problem yours is legit just something else dealing with anxiety you know um, but it also could be it could be your um, some kind of vitamin deficiency you know and it's crazy it's just it's crazy it's something that's really interesting to me so anyway I just thought I'd share that with you guys and um, I will be sharing more I promise I'm not gonna forget I'm I'm looking at tools and things that I can do for ADHD um, to help me um, I you know me in medication I don't want to get on medication unless I absolutely have to but um, I don't think I'm going to need it um, that's yet to be determined really but we'll we'll see what happens but I just wanted to share that with you guys <laughs> but anyway I love you guys remember you're not alone and I will talk to you all later